Hi, I'm Tara and this is my netball journey. I thought it'd be really cool to pull all of my old uniform and dresses out of the cupboard to have a look at what I've been up to over the last 15 years of playing netball. So here we are, my very first netball shirt. I love that I kept this. This is from Nippers at Brisbane Netball Association where I played my whole club and rep career. So I was seven, I started playing with my sister there and we had an absolute ball. You can see on here my love affair with Gaitz who started from a young age because this is her signature just over here and I just loved when the Firebirds girls used to come and do clinics with us which is why I love going to do clinics now because I remember how special it was. So that's my first one when I was seven. Then we played club netball for originally Waver was my first club. The uniform's not here but I look like a clown. So many colourful stripes on the top and this weird frilly skirt but we loved it at the time. Then I played for Ridgettes, um, still at BNA, and this is my BNA rep dress. So we played for rep when I was 12 up until I think about 17. And my best, best, best friends are from my first under 12 team and we still catch up all the time, which is something that I think has been really special. And the biggest thing I've taken out of every team I've played for is just my love for the girls and the bond you guys make. So spending five years plus playing with them was pretty cool and I love that I've got those memories. I guess as things went on, it got a bit more serious. I played for Met North, which was um, the Brisbane North region. And playing for them, I remember I turned, I think it was 15 in Mackay, and it was on my birthdays, we had state trials. And luckily I got into the Queensland under 15 schoolgirls team. So that was probably the biggest thing that had happened to date. And I had no idea what was ahead of me. I remember for my birthday breakfast, it was like finals or some serious day and we went down to Macca's and had hotcakes and I thought that was great and I felt shocking. So I guess that's where I first started to learn about how serious netball could be if I really put my mind to it and this was a really special memory playing in um, Tasmania with my biggest group of friends and this team was my first team with Kim Jenner who I play for now, play alongside and I love that we had that memory as well. Alright, so moving on a little bit. This dress is probably one of my most special dresses. It is my um, 2015 under 17 Queensland state team dress. I was, my first year in the team, it was, I was so honored to be captain of that team at the time. I had no idea it was ahead of me. The week went unbelievably well. I think, I guess I had such low expectations. That to me, it was like a week away with friends and we were, go, we were there to get the job done. We were lucky enough to win the grand final, which is an amazing memory for your first major netball tournament. So that's something I, hold very close to my heart that team um, in between the two years so this is my next dress was my under 19s dress in 2017 the dress that should have been in here unfortunately I rolled my ankle pretty badly about two weeks before we were about to leave the competition so I think that was probably the biggest setback up until that point that I'd had was rolling my ankle and missing out on the competition and I hated it I still went because I was captain of that team as well and I really wanted to help the girls and my sister was playing so I still went across to Perth, watched, I was doing video analysis and helping the coaches where I can. My biggest memory of that tournament was two minutes into the first game, not a joke, my twin sister rolled her ankle and that was her done for the rest of the comp too. So we were probably two pretty sad little girls over there, but I still remember having such a blast with that team and the coaches were really amazing too. So that's my state team dresses. Then we're moving on to my Queensland Fusion dress. So Queensland Fusion is like the Australian Netball League team for Queensland, so the tier just below Firebirds. Um, this was massive to me at the time. I had no idea who Fusion was when, it was when I was asked to go to the trials, but it's so insane to think that this was pretty much the start of a pretty amazing career playing for Netball Queensland. It's also very special to me. So I played for them for a few years before coming to Firebirds, but while I was playing for them, I also loved playing for Brisbane North Cougars in the Queensland State Netball League. So I've got four dresses here, all with Hinchliffe on the back, which means it was obviously four really amazing years of getting opportunities to play with the Brisbane North Cougars. The girls were so amazing. When I joined, I was very young and the girls were a lot older than me, but they looked after me so well. And Amanda Van Orn and Liz White were such amazing coaches and two of my biggest supporters and people I really look up to. I really loved playing underneath those coaches and the Brisbane North Cougars for so long. They're also very special to me. And I guess this is where all the fun sort of starts. So this is my Australian under 21 Netball World Youth Cup team dress. This was the most mind blowing experience of my life. 
Again, I was playing for Fusion. I didn't really even know that the Australian under 21 team was a thing. Um, it was in 2017 and we got to go to Botswana, which is over just near South Africa, for those who don't know, and played a tournament there. Unfortunately, we came second. We lost to New Zealand in the final, which I guess is a great way to start international career. But this was such an amazing opportunity and something that I will never, ever, ever take for granted. Playing in the Australian dress is very, very special. Um, after that, this is my first Queensland Firebirds dress. I'm pretty sure this is from when I was a training partner, so I think I got to play some pre-season matches, which was amazing and a really great experience. My first ever time in the purple. And then this dress is also one of my very, very, very special dresses. It's the first official Queensland Firebirds dress I got in my first year in 2018. Um, this was the year that Gaitzi was playing, so I was very lucky to be playing alongside her. And she presented this dress to me in our first game, which was super, super special. So this is obviously a very, very important dress to me with my Firebirds number, number 92, which I will always remember. And then off the back of that and playing last year, um, I was also very lucky to be playing for the Fast Five Australian team in Melbourne. Um, unfortunately, one of the girls got injured, so I was called up very last minute. I got the call that day and was on the plane that night to go and train with the girls. But this was such a fun competition. If you've ever seen Fast Five, it's just lots of dancing, lots of fun. It's loud, it's exciting. As a defender, it's a pretty tough game because the shooters get to shoot the long bombs. But I had an amazing time playing with all the different girls that I'd played against in Super Netball. And getting to play with them was also really cool. And then here we are. This is... Another dress, one of my Fibers dresses, which is also super special to me. This is, I think this might be last year's or the year before's. All the Fibers dresses are pretty cool. They don't change too much year to year, but I just absolutely love playing in the purple. That is the most special day. So I can't wait for this year to, for us to get back in the purple dress and get back on the court. Um, I guess just wrapping up after all of those dresses, I think I counted over 20, which is pretty incredible that I've been able to save them all. The biggest highlight was obviously winning under 17s in 2015. That was still an insane day and it's actually come up in my Facebook memories lately. So it's been really nice to relive that. But I think the biggest lesson that I've learned and the reason I've played netball for so long and absolutely loved it is just the girls and the friendships I've made across the way. So many amazing coaches, so many amazing girls and players that I've loved playing with. And I think having my twin sister alongside me the whole time has also been super, super special along with all of my family and friends support. So I guess that's my netball year from starting when I was seven up until... 22 so hopefully we've got 15 more years but that's my journey so far so i hope you enjoyed getting a bit of an insight into my netball journey